magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. This is magic. Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. Science is the study of how the natural world works. This is science. Earth is wicked awesome. Some scientists think there could be as many as one billion galaxies in the universe. Over one billion. Not stars, <laughs> but a billion galaxies. A galaxy is huge. A galaxy is a collection of gas, dust, stars, and entire solar systems. A galaxy is obviously really huge. Galaxies and solar systems are constantly in motion, yet, and this is the cool part, they are being held together by gravity. The same principle that pulls down a dropped bowling ball is the same principle that holds these massive entities together. Earth, our home, is a part of a solar system, which is a small part of the galaxy. It's a galaxy called the Milky Way. When you look up at the stars in the night sky, you're seeing stars in the Milky Way. Any direction you look. Oh, wow. Yep, that's the Milky Way. Our solar system is home to eight amazing planets. At its center is our sun. It's a star. No, not that kind. A real star. A giant ball of hot, burning gas. Gas? The sun is a star. It's a huge, bigly big star that our whole solar system orbits around. Our solar system is made up of eight planets, a few billion asteroids, and a few more billion comets, and lots and lots of dust and gas. The four planets closest to the sun are, in order, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. They all have rocky crusts, which are made mostly of rocks and metals. They are called terrestrial planets. Terrestrial means Earth, land, or ground. Next comes the gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn, and the ice giants, Uranus and Neptune. They cannot possibly support life. At least, not life as we know it. So, let's swing back closer to Earth. Mercury and Venus are really extreme. They have high daytime temperatures up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. And temperatures at night can be as low as negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit. They have no usable water and no air for humans to breathe. Cock, cock. 
nothing can live on Mercury or Venus either. Then there's Earth, terra firma, our home sweet home. But we'll get back to Earth. The fourth planet from the Sun is Mars. It has some water and a very, very, very thin atmosphere. So far, we've discovered no life on Mars. The potential is there, though. So? Billions of dollars of research have gone into rovers that can explore Mars. NASA launched the first InSight Mars lander on May 5th, 2018. But Mars isn't just around the corner. It takes approximately six months to get to Mars from the Earth. And it successfully landed on Mars November the 26th, 2018. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun. And it is a very special place. It is rocky with mountains, valleys, canyons, oceans, jungles, plants, animals, life in so many different forms. And as far as we know, Earth is the only planet with life. Earth can support life. Or said another way, it is habitable. It has natural systems that are connected, natural systems that are renewable, natural systems that are sustainable. They just keep on going and going and going. Energy and matter flow in cycles through these systems. That energy and matter are used or reused by Earth's life forms. These are Earth's systems. They are sometimes called spheres. Each sphere is unique, but is connected to the others. Biosphere, all living things on Earth. Earth has a huge diversity of life within the biosphere. The word bio actually means living. So biosphere is living stuff. We know of no other place like the Earth in the entire universe. Earth's materials such as rocks, minerals, soil. Earth has all of the essential elements for life. This includes the element carbon. Carbon is essential for life here on planet Earth. That's why we are referred to as carbon-based life forms. It is our essential ingredient. Earth has many natural cycles that move elements around the planet. The atmosphere this includes all gases that surround the Earth. The atmosphere is a mixture of gases consisting mostly of nitrogen. 78.08% of the Earth's atmosphere is nitrogen. 20.95% is oxygen. Argon is 0.93%. And carbon dioxide is 0.033%. Earth has an amazing atmosphere. It has just exactly the right amount of oxygen for us to breathe. It helps keep Earth's temperature stable. It shields the Earth from harmful radiation. It even protects the Earth from incoming meteoroids. Hydrosphere, all of Earth's water. Water, in some form, covers 70% of Earth's surface. Examples of connections of the spheres are all around us. Take for instance, a bird needs air to breathe, water to drink, and plants or insects to eat to grow from the Earth. When the bird dies and disintegrates, its body becomes soil, gases, and water that are used by other life forms. Water cycles through Earth's systems. Rain falls to Earth is filtered through rocks and soil, stored in lakes and underground, where animals and plants can use it. Water evaporates into the atmosphere, condenses into rain. The water cycle happens over and over and over again. The spheres are so closely interconnected that a change in one sphere often results in a change in one or more of the other spheres. For example, if too much pollution is added to the environment, the Earth's systems can be affected in ways that harm life. Everything we do on this planet affects something else. This is true even if we can't see it. We are still learning how to work with Earth's systems and stay healthy. The Earth is wicked awesome. It's totally unique in our solar system. It's totally unique in our galaxy. It's totally unique in our universe. It's kind of magical. 
As the famous physicist Neil deGrasse Tyson once said, we are all connected to each other biologically, to the Earth chemically, to the rest of the universe atomically. It's true, and it's pretty amazing.